My name is Mary Bruff and I am a student at MSU Denver here in Colorado. The COVID pandemic has affected my life in many ways. Like most people, I am furloughed from my job, all of my classes have moved online, but I feel like my life hasn't really changed, like emotionally or mentally, I don't feel that distressed. And so I was more curious to document the people around me, like my friends and family, and kind of show how they have been affected by everything. I'm an audio systems tech at Brown Note Productions. I'm currently furloughed because there are no shows in town. Brown Note does all of the uh, shows up at Red Rocks and most of the festival shows for AEG around town, like Global and whatnot. Currently with the COVID-19 virus, there is no foreseeable future this year for shows. We don't really know what's going to happen and my company figured it would be best to just furlough all of us, have us jump onto unemployment so we can ride this one out. Because obviously when this is all over, everybody is going to be very ready to party and um, the live industry will hopefully get back up to speed. Well, there is no trial anymore. <laughs> I went unemployment and that was an ordeal to even try to get unemployment because the system kept going down and then they had to like set up days for like if your name was like a through n or whatever then like o through z or whatever something like that so it was like the whole thing it was the whole thing and they finally got it and then yeah so no job but still kind of making money but not really like i would like anymore well i work at a hospital for an insurance company out here in california and um at first it wasn't any big deal and then everybody started freaking out when they started saying that people had to stay home. And I mean, you know, we actually just went about business as usual, even when they did the uh, work from home things and they were starting to do all that because what our job is, we can't, my job specifically, I can't not be there. Well, mass hysteria is Definitely something that brings out the worst in people. And initially at the beginning of the stay at home and COVID crisis, I think people got a little out of hand with the hoarding and whatnot. Um, that's just, I think, a realization of media. People aren't really sure about stuff and they see something that's somewhere is completely out of toilet paper so they freak out and they go and buy it all. One of the employees that was the cleaning crew of where I work got fired for stealing toilet paper and um, they also realized as this went on that all of a sudden there was no gloves in the exam rooms, there was no gloves in the in the supply rooms, there was no masks anywhere and so now they're having to lock everything up really lock and key and why would you steal something like that when you work at a hospital? Well, I'm hysterical, so there's that. <laughs> Why are you um, Mostly because I, I just miss people, which is kind of weird because I'm like, I would say I'm an introvert, generally speaking, but like, I do miss like work, which is weird for me to say because I, I, I hate it usually. But like, not like hate it, but like, you know, like begrudgingly, like, oh God. But now it's just like, the same people that I live with like all the time. And it's kind of like, I love you all, but can I just not anymore? <laughs> can I just not? And so, yeah, it's just, it's, it's kind of rough. It's a little rough. The world will be back to normal, inevitably. But the reason people are so concerned is because there's no timeline. There's no time frame. Like I said, we're on a day-to-day -day basis, you know? Things are changing constantly. Well, I honestly don't have very good hopes for it. I think people should calm down and not be so um, quick to respond to everything they see and hear. I think the best thing that you can do personally um, for your health and safety is to just try to be open to all of the information and see if you can really piece together an answer for yourself.